All-Star participant, Steve Sack. The manager was something? Sacks. You had to make your visa and MasterCard. Steve Sachs from New York City. behind their neck to keep them down because they are such a tough club. This is the time. Well, I'm glad to our character, really. It's just a he great feeling. proud of that man. I, I never even saw anybody do anything with steroids. I think, as it is for most players, uh, you know, after the first or second inning is over, it's just like a normal game. Hi, I'm Steve Sachs, and I played Major League Baseball for some 15 years. I speak on leadership, personal development, and team building, and also how to utilize your passion and desires. All are highly motivational, which leads to action steps and more productivity in the workplace. Here's a few of my clips. My brother and I had this undying desire to become Major League Baseball players. We talk about people that have a dream in their life. My brother and I had the same dream, without a doubt, that we wanted to become Major League Baseball players. And uh, I can remember one time watching the game of the week, and growing up in Sacramento, folks, you gotta know that you're Giants fans growing up in Sacramento, is that right? Any Giants fans here today? We got a few. Is there any Dodger fans here today? No. <laughs> Got a few. Actually, like being a Dodger fan up here is like being a Republican in San Francisco. It just doesn't work. But my brother and I had these uh, dreams, and we were watching the game of the week, and I remember watching the game of the week with my dad there, giant Dodger rivalry. I mean, this was just great. You know, I remember it was 1968. I can remember the year. And I'm watching the game, and I told my dad, I said, you know what? Dad, if the Dodgers ever took me on to play for them, if I ever got drafted by the Dodgers, I wouldn't play for the Dodgers for a million dollars. That was Stephen Sachs, circa 1968, right? And then 10 years later, when I graduated from high school and they drafted me, it took $985,000 less for me to sign with the Los Angeles Dodgers. <laughs> I've had a job since I was 10 years old as a, bus, as, a, as a paper boy. Then I was a bus boy, and you know, when a scout comes to your house and he says, I'll give you $15,000 to sign with the Dodgers, and I'm a bus boy that night ready to go wash dishes, it's give me the pen, my brother, before you change your mind. There was no scouts, there was no hoopla, there was no papers, there was no movie cameras there or whatever. It was give me the pen before you change your mind and I'm inking this thing. Well, thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for having me here today. I'm very proud to be here on behalf of Coca-Cola and really talking about what I think is important in building a championship organization. I was fortunate in my baseball career as a member of the Dodgers to bookend my career with that organization with two World Series championship teams and really the focus on what, is, what it is to build that championship organization was obviously teamwork, perseverance, and what I think is the most important is a great attitude. It got to the point where baseball was actually fun again. Because I think what you got to think about is what's your why? What was your why and why do you want to do something? Well, let me tell you this. If your why in your business is big enough, your how-to doesn't matter. And that's just what I thought about. My why was bigger than this building, and I was not going to let it kill me. So the how-to was inconsequential. So when going through that, I finally got over it. I was so grateful. Folks, I'll tell you, there was games in Yankee Stadium where we were up by a run, and there was runners in second, third, and two outs in the ninth inning, and I was begging for them to hit me the ball. <laughs> Please hit me the ball, because this game is over. <laughs> Baseball got fun again. And I never could have done this without leadership in my family. It's a former New York Yankee, I don't know about this Dodger thing, but <laughs> second baseman Steve Sachs is with us. I'm like, where's your World Series rings? You said you put them away. Yeah, they're in the closet. Yeah, my Oscars are in the closet. <laughs> I, you know, I, got, I got a big award. You know, Grant, um, Patton, MacArthur, mm -hmm. you know what? 
You know what? That's what generals do. They're leaders. They're strong men. They use salty language. Go watch Patton the movie. That's right. This guy is not a media wonk. I mean, what they probably should have done is they probably should have had a public affairs officer on staff there to maybe guard some of this. Because if you look at the article, there really is nothing that really comes from him. I think what he did was he pretty much took it, you know, for everybody, fell on the sword, and he probably did the right thing. And I wanted to talk about a few things that I think are very important in uh, somebody working up to success. I mean, I was very fortunate in my career to do exactly what I wanted to do. But I think there's some common denominators that you'll take away here tonight that um, really supersede any line of work or any distances or time. And uh, a few things I want to go over tonight, um, talking about having a big dream. I mean, I certainly did that, and I think leadership kind of go hand in hand with one another. If you look at all the leaders in the world, all the way back, I mean, you talk about one of your brethren, if you will, and Henry, Henry Ford. Here's a guy who had no education at all, not much of one, but he had a huge dream to become a great inventor, and he certainly was. I mean, you go back further than that in the 15th and 16th century, and the great astronomer Copernicus wanted to show us a multiplicity of worlds. And that the universe was built on a heliocentric system and not where the sun is in the center, but not the earth. People thought this guy was a nut when he went through this. But he had a big dream and a big passion to express himself, and he certainly did. I think people need to really get into it and dream really big. Steve Sachs was fabulous tonight. Steve's speech was awesome. It's all about the power of positive thinking and having a goal and working towards it, not being deviated from what you want in life, and how to be an awesome leader, and I thought his speech was wonderful. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Great inspirational speaker. Very well educated man and uh, had a lot of good things to say. I thought it was great. I've been a fan of his for a long time. Definitely an inspiration. Oh, it was great. I think Steve Sachs did a great job. Great meeting. Great meeting. I want to take this opportunity to thank Steve Sachs for speaking to our group, talking about real-life situations. I think he was excellent. I really enjoyed it. Uh, It was tremendous. Hey, Steve is very motivational. He talks about things that actually happen in real life on a day-to-day basis. I would suggest anyone who is having an issue with motivation, hey, call Steve. He'll get you motivated. And it's about life, real life and what you can do to improve yourself. So uh, call Steve.